The synthesis of benzenes that have two, or perhaps even more, substituents on the ring itself require us to take into account the orthopara and meta-directing effects of substituents on the ring. This is done most effectively and efficiently by using the retrosynthetic analysis planning process for designing the synthesis. Let's take a look at a few examples. Suppose we need to synthesize meta-bromonitrobenzene from benzene. We need to write down the structures of the precursors we could use to make this target in one step. This is easy to do if we do this systematically. First, let's write down the structure that's missing the bromine. And I'm going to write a question mark here because we're asking if this is possible. And here's a second possible precursor. We're wondering if this would work. Let's look at these one at a time. The nitro group is a meta director, so it's directing to this position and this position. Since these are equivalent, this looks like a precursor that will work. That's great. I'm going to get rid of that question mark. Now let's look at bromobenzene. Bromine is directing to the ortho positions and the para position. We need nitro at the meta group. This does not work. So of the two possible precursors that can make this meta bromonitrobenzene in one step, one works and one doesn't. So now we need to make nitrobenzene and it can be made directly from benzene, which is our starting material. All that remains now is to write the synthesis in the order from benzene to product, filling in the reagents. When we treat benzene with nitric acid and sulfuric acid, we make nitrobenzene, which can be treated with bromine and ferric bromide to make our target compound. Let's look at another one. Let's plan the synthesis of parachlorobenzene sulfonic acid. Here's our sulfonic acid group, parachloro. There are two possible one-step precursors. We could consider putting on the sulfonic acid group. Alternatively, it could be the chlorine we're putting on. Let's look up above here. The chlorine is an orthopara director, so it would put the sulfonic acid group where we need it. The sulfonic acid group is a meta director. No chance. Clearly, we need to use chlorobenzene as the precursor, which can be made directly from benzene. What remains to be done is show the synthesis from beginning to end, including reagents. Using chlorine with ferric chloride puts the chlorine on the benzene ring. And SO3 with sulfuric acid and heat are the conditions we need to put the sulfonic acid group on. And there we have it. Let's look at parabromoisopropyl benzene. There are two substituents on the ring. We can consider two possible precursors. We could consider putting the isopropyl group on using bromobenzene. Alternatively, we could use isopropyl benzene and put bromine on. Remember, we need to put question marks here because at this point, we're simply considering the possibilities. Now we need to consider the orthopara and meta directing effects of these substituents. Well, Bromine directs to the ortho and para positions, so we could make what we want. Isopropyl directs to the ortho and para positions, so we could make what we want. Either of these precursors is okay. So now we ask ourselves, can these be made from benzene? Absolutely. So both options are feasible. We have two synthetic roots. Let's write them out from start to finish. Bromine with ferric bromide puts bromine on the ring. And isopropyl chloride puts the alkyl group on that we need using aluminum chloride as the catalyst. This is the friedel cross alkylation. Or we could do these in the opposite order. We'll alkylate benzene to make isopropyl benzene to make the product. So sometimes there are two synthetic roots that work. Here's an interesting case. There are actually three possible precursors. Take a look. We could consider nitrobenzene, thinking about putting the carboxyl group on the ring. Alternatively, we could think about putting the nitro group on the ring, starting with benzoic acid. And there's a third possibility. Remember that carboxylic acids can be made by oxidizing alkyl groups. So we could think about having an alkyl group there as a precursor. 
Let's take a look at each. The nitro group is a meta director, and we need substitution at the para position. Furthermore, you may be thinking, I don't know any chemistry that puts a carboxyl group on the ring. You're right. So we need to rule this precursor out. The carboxyl group is a meta director. We need para substitution. We need to rule this out. That narrows it right down. Paranitroisopropyl benzene is our precursor. We could consider putting the isopropyl group on nitrobenzene or putting the nitro group on isopropyl benzene. Well, the nitro group is a meta director. It rules that out. And fortunately, the isopropyl group is orthopara. It works. And isopropyl benzene comes directly from benzene. So there we have it, a three-step synthesis. From benzene to isopropyl benzene, we'll nitrate to make paranitroisopropyl benzene, and then oxidize the alkyl group to make the carboxylic acid. What remains is to go ahead and write out the details from start to finish. Let's do that. We'll use isopropyl chloride together with aluminum chloride to put the isopropyl group on. Then we can use nitric acid with sulfuric acid to nitrate in the para position. And to finish, we'll oxidize the alkyl group, which we can do using dichromate, sulfuric acid, and heat. So there we have it. We've put only two groups on the ring, but it took three steps, because to get a carboxyl group on the ring, we'll have to alkylate and then oxidize it. Well, let's take a look at a tri-substituted benzene. The same approach works well. This target has three groups attached to the ring, so we need to consider three possible immediate precursors as we do our retrosynthetic planning. One precursor would be the compound that we need to put the alkyl group on. Another one we should consider is the compound we would put the chlorine on. And the third possible precursor is the compound that we would need to nitrate. Let's look at the orthopara and meta directing preferences of the groups already on the ring. Well, this chlorine is directing to the ortho, ortho, and para positions. While the nitro is directed to the meta position that's open. This certainly isn't promising. It looks like all the positions might see some substitution. Let's look at another one. This secondary butyl group is an ortho para director. There are two ortho positions open. They're identical. And the para position is not. Well, this is promising. We need to put the chlorine at an ortho position. And how about the nitro group? Well, again, the nitro group is a meta director. It's directing to the same positions as the secondary butyl group. This is awesome. This obviously is a good precursor. And what about the third one? Is it useful too? Well, the secondary butyl group directs to the open ortho position and the para. Hmm. Not perfect. And the chloro group is an ortho para director. This would make a bad mixture of products. So we'll rule out the top option and the bottom option. And the middle option looks good. Let's see about making that compound. This intermediate has two substituents on the aromatic ring. So we need to consider two possible precursors. One of the precursors could be nitrobenzene, and we'll put the alkyl group on. And the other possibility is secondary butylbenzene, which we would nitrate. Well, look at the top one. The nitro group is meta-directing, and we need the alkyl group in the para position. We can rule this out. For the bottom one, the alkyl group is orthopara-directing. It's what we need to make the para product. There'll be some ortho substitution byproduct that we have to separate. So let's take that question mark out of there. And what remains is to say, well, yes, this could come from benzene. So there we have it. Our trisubstituted benzene would come from this disubstituted benzene, which comes from this monosubstituted benzene, which comes from benzene itself. Now we need to write the synthesis from beginning to end and include the reagents and important conditions. For this first step, we'll write the alkyl group and the line that attaches to the benzene ring. We'll put a chlorine there and aluminum chloride is the catalyst. 
To accomplish nitration, we'll use nitric acid with sulfuric acid, and we'll finish with chlorination. So with our retrosynthetic planting approach, we can design synthesis that put multiple groups on an aromatic ring, taking advantage of our knowledge of the orthopera and meta-directing preferences of the substituents that are already on the ring.